we're going to be installing a Windows 2008 server today. Um, this will be much like the client counterpart, Windows Vista, but now we have the server counterpart, and, and this is uh, Enterprise, so 2008 Enterprise Server. And Windows is loading files, um, DVDs in the drive, we're just, you know, we've gone through the post, booting up the system now. Okay, now we're going to go into the initial install screen, and we'll just accept the defaults. Folks here. Notice again, like a Vista, if I wanted to go to recovery console or repair the server, I could choose that option here from the DVD. In this case, I'm going to go install now. And this will bring us to the next screen. Um, we can choose to do a customized install. Um, we can go with an upgrade. In this case, there's no operating system to upgrade. Um, well, let's enter our key first here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose not to enter a key. Now remember that one of the interesting things that you can do with Vista and 2008 server, you can actually have 30 days to evaluate the product even without a key or to decide on, you know, licensing or, or you know, exactly how much of the product you, you want to purchase. So we're just going to say no. And we'll click on next. As soon as I get my hourglass back there. Okay, um, notice a different version, standard enterprise data center. Um, in this case, we're going to go with the enterprise installation. And we'll just say I, uh, I have selected the edition of Windows that I purchased, and I will click Next. Um, we'll read the license agreement here, you know, firstborn child, um, your soul. Check I accept the license terms. Uh, click on Next. Um, okay, now here, again, we could upgrade if we had you know, 2003 server. Uh, we don't, so we're just going to do a clean install. Or if we were configuring a multi-boot, we would also choose custom or advanced. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I have unallocated space currently on this drive, so what I'm going to do is allow 2008 to configure that partition as an NTFS formatted partition. I want, you know, access control entries in a DACL. Um, now it's going to be in copying files and then once it copies the files, it'll decompress them, has to expand them, and, and it will begin the installation process. You can see the steps, you know, down here. Again, this is very similar to the client operating system, Vista. But now we're looking at the server operating system. Um, like Vista, this will take a while. So this would be a good time for us to kind of step away, and, and we'll just... We'll come back about 10 minutes later, and that'll save us some time.